Hi guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we will be solving another question from the hacker rank. So let's read the question. Given the names and grades for each student in a class of n students, store them in a nested list and print name of any students having the second lowest grade. So this is the task. We need to print the names of the students having the second lowest grade. If there are multiple students with second lowest grade, order their names alphabetically and print each name on a new line. Okay, let's uh, try to understand this with an example. Here is a list containing the nested list. Where each item in this outer list is another list containing the name of the student and grade of the student. So Harry, 37.21. Berry 37.21, Tina 37.2 and similarly these are the names and marks. So we need to print the names of the, those students having the second lowest grade. So let's take this the list only as an example and let's try to identify the second lowest grade. Uh, 41 is the highest, uh, sorry second lowest it is, it's not second highest, it's second lowest grade. 41 is the highest and then 39 and then 37.21 and next 37.2 so this is the lowest 37.2 so the second lowest is 37.2 but there are two students with 37.21 Harry and Berry so we need to print them alphabetically so Berry would be printed first and Harry so Let's see the input format and output formats. So the first line contains integer n indicating the number of students and the two n subsequent lines describe each student over two lines. First line is for the name and the second line is for the grade. So these are the constraints. Number of students always lies between 2 and 5 should lie. There will be one or more students having the second lowest grade. So as, a, as in this example, we are having two students having the second lowest grade. And let's see the output format. Print the names of any student having the second lowest grade. If there are multiple students. We need to print them in alphabetical order. So this is a sample input. First is the number of students. And next two n lines. That means the next 10 lines would be name and the following grade of the student Harry 37.2 Berry 37.21 Tina 37.2 Akriti 41 Harsh 39 and the output format should be the names of the second lowest student would be printed here they are Berry and Harry in the alphabetical order uh, I think we have understood the question properly so we can go and write the code for it so we need to uh, go through a, uh, an algorithm so that we can write a Code. So first, in order to solve this problem, we need to identify the, the second lowest grade. First of all, from the grades, we need to identify the second lowest grade. Then only we will be able to identify the students with that second lowest grade. So first, find the second lowest grade. Here we are having a nested list inside a list. So what we need to do is, uh, we'll be using the list comprehension, right? So let me write the code and after that I will explain it properly. So second, no, it's grades list. First we will get the grades list. So I will write the code and I will just explain. Okay, this will find the a grades list. How? So let's go inside. This is a list comprehension where this is a student grade. That means, for suppose this is a, a nested list. For suppose this is only the list we have taken right now. Assume like that. So 
student will be an individual list so here the student would be the individual list so this one this one so we are taking the elemented index one that means we are taking only the grade and we are forming a new list from that since there could be duplicates in this grades so that's why we are passing it to a set function so that we will form a set and ultimately we need a list that's why again after removing the duplicates we are converting it back to the list and we are sorting them uh, in the uh, ascending order so when we sort them in the ascending order the second lowest grade can be found at the index 1 right so at the index 0 the lowest grade and at the index 1 uh, sorry at the index 0 we will having the lowest grade at index 1 we will be having the second lowest grade so second lowest grade second lowest grade is grades list of 1 so we have found the second lowest grade so we need to now find the students having this grade for that we will be using another list comprehension students with second lowest grade so we will be using the list comprehension so student for student in student grades if I will write the code and I will explain student of 1 index 1 is equal to second lowest grade so using this particular list comprehension we are building a new list where we get only those list where the student's grade is equal to the second lowest grade so that means if you take uh, so here we got the grades list like this we got the grade list from that we found out the second lowest grade which is 37.21 right after that what we will be doing is we will take this particular list like this so this is the particular list only when the student grade is equal to the second lowest grade so here the second in this example the second lowest grade is 37.21 so what we will do is first we will take this particular list and we will go to the this index one and we will compare the second lowest grade so the these have been matched so this particular list will be coming into the new list and same with this list and when we go to this particular list we will take this particular element this is the code responsible for that if so this value and this value are not matching so we would not include that particular list in the new new list so basically here we are using the list comprehension first this is a new list item and this is the iteration and this will go into the new list only when this particular condition is uh, true that means when this particular or uh, the element at the index one is equal to the second lowest grade okay. grade of a student is equal to the second lowest grade then only the new list will contain that particular nested list uh, yes now we got the student with the second lowest grade so let's uh, sort them because as in, as in the question they said we need to sort them if there are more than one student with the second lowest grade so we will use the sort method so uh, after filtering this is a list which we will be having so when we sort what happens is based on the first item only this particular sort happens so this particular list will be coming at first and then this so 
you can change that behavior also but by default the sorting happens based on the first element if there are any nested list so after sorting uh, it will be like based on the first element so here h and b so b comes first so this particular list is kept first after sorting and now we can use a for loop for a student in student with second lowest grade print student student and we need to print the index 0 because we need to print their names let's run the code and see the output let me refresh yes, it has passed the sample test case before uh, submitting uh, let me explain one uh, difference there is a difference slight difference for the sorted function and a sorted sort method so sort method will apply the particular sort on the object or on the uh, data structure it has been called so it will apply this particular sort onto this list but the sorted function will not f will not affect any parameter passed it will just return a new list for example a, a list is passed it will not modify that list but it will return a new list which is sorted so that is a slight difference now let's submit the code and see whether it passes all the test cases or not yes it has passed all the test cases uh, that's it guys uh, i hope you understood thank you for watching